metabolic flexibility, which is more about the idea that everybody can adapt differently to different stressors based on their metabolic flexibility, right? So when we think about a lot of the diseases we have, kind of lifestyle related diseases like diabetes and uh, cardiovascular disease. It's not that eating certain foods once in a while is bad, but the lifestyle we've created makes us very metabolically inflexible, meaning you can't adapt easily to changes in your environment, changes in your physical activity, changes in um, food that you eat, things like that. And a big part of why the gut microbiome impacts our health is because it is so adaptable that it's kind of how we maintain metabolic flexibility. Mm -hmm. For example, um, by changing or improving the diversity of our gut microbiome, we can um, better metabolize sugar. We can better mm -hmm. metabolize fats, proteins. Um, we can better um, deal with stress or recover from exercise, right? And so in, a, in an interesting way, it kind of answers the question of like the way you treat your gut directly impacts your metabolic flexibility long term. Mm -hmm.